this week we'll be delivering our holiday activity camps. So partner up with Lionheart um, Academy Trust, so with the Martin High School, the Cedars Academy and Thomas Esley Community College. So we're working together to provide up to 75 young people um, opportunities to get involved in positive activities. We've been really lucky to work with Leicester City in partnership to organise the sessions that are happening this week. I think for them to be able to get together in a Covid secure way to be able to do things that they would never get the chance to do otherwise. So we've had the Desert Rats in today and they were so excited this morning about seeing them on site. Seeing you guys in the Leicester City kit also is incredibly motivational. We've got um, a food workshop where they're going to be touching on making a nutritional healthy meal for the young people as well as we're going to be doing a mindfulness workshop trying to increase confidence of young people and get them back into day-to-day um, -day life. We've been doing some sports, uh, cooking and now we're doing gardening. It will help because like we get to spend some more time with each other and we get to do fun activities together. We got to like do chopping and everything. So we got to cook things, so that was fun. Well we learned that like we need to use like techniques like cook things properly. So like you either use the claw technique or the bridge technique and chop chops. It's important we do stuff like this because there is a lot of families out there that are struggling, a lot of children that are struggling, especially in the, the climate that we're living in at the moment. And I think just little bits of education around um, cooking your own dishes at home, saving money instead of going out into restaurants. I think it's important that they can kind of pick up them kind of tips that we're trying to give them. This year we started working with the Inspires coaches both here at the Cedars Academy and also at Martin High School in Anstey. That's been an invaluable resource. I think after the year that we've all had, having somebody that's not a teacher able to talk to our young people is absolutely invaluable.